stop and drop. Here we are at the triangle technique. Again, we're gonna be using it a lot. It's a great method to learn and diagnose our faults. We're trying to eliminate all slack out of the line. We know we need to do that, and now we're learning how to do it in detail. Here we are on the back cast. We're gonna lift up the goal post and then come along the crossbar. But there's a point where the forward cast stops and it stops in midair, there. What I want us to do is to follow the line down as it's falling. And I want the tip of the rod to touch the red cone as the line hits the ground. Let me show you what I mean. There's the stop, follow it down. You see that? Same again on the back cast. Along, drop. It's called stop and drop. You're following the line down with the rod tip as it comes to hit the water. Stop, drop. Stop, drop. Stop, drop. If we don't stop and drop, if we stop the rod, let the line land on the ground or the water, and then drop the rod, have a look at the slack. There's a little pile of slack there. If we have slack in the line when we start the cast, the rod isn't under load by the time we've gone up the goalpost, and then it overloads here. And you get this squiggle of line like that. We're looking for a progressive load of the rod tip, under tension at all times. So we get a nice smooth flick of the rub. Stop and drop. 